So hey, Jordan, Ancient Literature Dude, back to Babel with you once again, and I wanted to talk about something that seems a little bit obvious now in hindsight that I've never talked about, which is exactly why I even do this in the first place. Uh, I was asked recently in a comment on one of my videos why I do this whole reading literature on YouTube thing, and I figured now is as good a time as any to explain it. Um, and there are three main reasons, as you'll probably notice, things tend to run in threes with me. I guess the way that my mind works, it's, it's in triplicate. I'm a mythologically oriented person. Uh, but the first thing is that uh, I've been told at various times throughout my life that, you know, I've got a, a decent voice and maybe I could do radio work or something like that. Uh, don't have any real interest in doing radio work, although I would like to do voice work. Um, you know, I'm more of a creative person. So something like that would be cool. Uh, secondly, uh, I obviously have an avid interest in, uh, languages, specifically ancient languages and literature as a whole, uh, but more generally older literature. And part of that is because as you may have guessed, I'm a very introverted person. Uh, so while I enjoy modern languages, I don't really enjoy speaking them so much. Uh, in fact, there is no other language than English in which I can actually communicate, uh, not, not only fluently, but in any really meaningful way at all. I took a, uh, a Pimsleur uh, audio course, so I could probably ask for directions and things like that in German. That's about it. Uh, and nothing against modern languages, but again, just for, for cultural reasons and, you know, because of the fact that I like history and theology and things like that, I prefer ancient languages. I just think they're more interesting. Um, and so I've been studying these things for years and years and haven't had any real way to, to share that enthusiasm with people uh, or to share these these great works that I think are kind of, uh, you know, under the radar in a lot of cases. Um, and that leads me to the third and probably the most immediate and most immediately important thing, which is uh, that about three years ago, uh, I was playing music on my other YouTube channel and doing my normal thing, you know, drawing and gaming and all that. And... Uh, I apparently was putting too strict, uh, too great a strain on my hands and, uh, injured my hands and, uh, they've gotten a bit better, but, uh, even to this date, uh, you know, I'm not really able to play music or draw, uh, the way I would like. So I needed a creative outlet and, uh, it just kind of occurred to me, you know, what better thing than to get on YouTube and do something that I've always kind of wanted to do anyway, which is do literary readings. Uh, specifically with ancient languages, because I've been spending a lot of time studying them. Why not kind of share it? Uh, and also trying to cover works that I think are, you know, underserved uh, generally that, that aren't being read or discussed widely enough. Uh, so there you have it. You know, those are the basic reasons. And, uh, you know, uh, I hope that I can continue to keep doing this. Uh, I hope that you enjoy it and will continue to enjoy it. And, uh, you know, other than that, I hope you're doing well and take care and I will talk to you later.